I was like, you never rinse it off. What's poppin'? Alright, I'm gonna I'm not bring gonna through an informational chest workout. Car, bro. It's gonna be commentary, okay, so I'm gonna talk over my workout, off, show you what I do. There's a bunch like, of talking going on here. And yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. Shit. Gonna get a workout. Car. And it'll be informative and all kinds of other stuff with my hand, because I have a lot of caffeine. You don't want what in your car, Walter? Shit covered shoe. In my car. See you at the gym. Woo! Do you have. Now let's go back and look at this in more detail. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing in this video is you notice I start with an incline dumbbell. And the reason I start with an incline movement is, first off, there's two portions of your chest. There's your upper head, there's the upper clavicular head of your chest, and what's called the sternocostal head of your chest. In other words, it's just the upper part of your chest and the lower part. And um, the upper chest is more likely underdeveloped and most of the time a lagging body part. So I start there with some incline dumbbell press. Here I'm doing about six to eight reps, kind of heavier. And then after this, I jump into alternating where I do one at a time. And I like this because it puts more time under tension because you're always holding one dumbbell and it puts more pressure on my core. And I'm trying to get more core involvement with my major lifts. I actually really enjoy this alternating press. I get a really good pump from it, and and my uh, left side's also weaker with a lot of people. They have one side's more dominant, so it helps work on balancing out the sides. And then after that, I went to a decline bench press. And the reason for this is most people do flat bench. I just am not a fan of flat barbell bench press. It, it's just not comfortable for my shoulders, and I don't feel it very much in my pecs. Where a decline bench, I feel way more, and I don't feel any pressure in my shoulders. And even though flat bench is considered more superior, as far as overall muscle activation goes, there's no difference between the two. EMG studies have showed, EMG is just like a chart that shows how much your muscles contract when you're doing something, have shown the decline actually activated more than the flat bench. So for these, I do four sets of, I believe, six to eight reps as well. And as you can see, I'm not a very strong presser. That's always something I've lacked. I'm only doing 205 here for sets of like, set. I think I got all of them for eight and one for seven rep. But uh, I'm working on it, I'm progressing, I'm getting better at it, so that's all I can do. Try to progress at the decline bench for a while here. And then maybe I'll switch to flat bench in the future, but for now I just want to progress at these two major presses. And then up next, you're going to see a low cable fly, which really targets the upper chest. Talk about lightweight, baby! Try. Ten tips to gain. Look at that pristine form. You see the upper chest working. Look at that. That contraction of the muscle. Damn, you can squeeze a pencil with these bitches. Ooh. A lot of girls wish they had boobies that day. God dang. All right, and to finish the workout off, I did these uh, BOSU ball push-ups, and the only reason is I always like to do push-ups to failure at the end of all my chest workouts. And uh, I just decided to do the BOSU ball because, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm trying to work on involving my core and doing more core engagement exercises. So this actually gives me a really, really good pump in the chest. I guess it's just from using all your stabilizer muscles you wouldn't normally use. And uh, yeah, so I like using these, and that's how I finish out. I hope you guys like this style of video with commentary and trying to be a little more informative. If so, let us know by liking the video, following us on Instagram, at Organized Chaos Fitness, or Organized Chaos, I'll put it on the bottom right of the screen right here. Thanks for watching the video, and have a good day. Peace. That was the chest workout. That was a good workout. I had a good workout. Good pump today. Everything felt good. It's because I had 
like five days off. Normally I only take three in between. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you found it informative. Hopefully you liked that kind of video. Here's my boy Wall. He's still, he's still in the sets. He has his headphones on. He doesn't know what's going on. But yeah, hopefully you liked that kind of video. Uh, just quick chest. I didn't put abs in there because I want to make a separate video on abs and how they work and everything. So why are you looking at me so weird? All right. Thanks. If you liked the video, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later.